Celebrities are no strangers to lending their name to products. But recreational marijuana? Although it's still against the law in 41 states, a lot of big names are seen green, as Ben Tracy will report in our cover story. Hollywood has long been addicted to a good marijuana joke. So these are our raw cannabis flowers. This is the way and now that pot flowers. is legal for recreational use in nine states, cool. yeah, this stuff's awesome. With more on the horizon, some celebrities are laughing all the way to the bank. Is it hard to find high quality plants? Only if you're really high. <laughs> and who better than Tommy Chong to be one of the first so-called ganjapreneurs? I mean, man, I could probably smoke this whole joint, man, and still walk away, man. It's a natural fit, given he gladly let his career go up in smoke. He and his partner, Cheech Marin, practically invented the stoner comedy. Hey, man, am I driving okay? How much of what you have in this life is due to this? Everything. Everything. All the movies, all the records, my nice house in the Palisades, <laughs> my Tesla. You look at me, I'm a high school dropout. But marijuana really, it's been responsible for everything. Including a nine month stint in prison in 2003 for selling glass bongs on the internet. You know, our quality, especially Chung's choice, is so high. But that, now he's uh, legit, selling a line of organically grown cannabis called. Chong's choice. And as the face of the brand, well, he has to make sure it's good. I'm the tester. There you go. I'm the guy that, that smells it, feels it, puts it in my pipe, and smokes it. Quality control. <laughs> I'm quality control all the way. <laughs> Chong's choice is for sale in six states. And as with any other product, name recognition matters. Do you think somebody who walks into a store like this for the first time and sees your name on something says, okay, I know him, I trust this? Absolutely, absolutely. Especially with me, you know, they know the movies, uh, they know me from all sorts of, or, so, like Dancing with the Stars, for instance. You know. I'm quite sure that subliminally, a lot of those old guys are going, dude, I better start smoking some pot too. You know? So I can dance like that guy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. From fashion to fragrance to beverages, both hard and soft, celebrity sells. And with marijuana sales expected to reach eight to $10 billion by the end of this year and projected to double to 20 billion by 2022, more celebs are investing money and lending their names to get a foothold in this growing market. This was an industry in the shadows that was all around on the black market for many decades, kind of rose up very quickly. A lot of people were shocked by how fast it materialized. Chris Walsh is founding editor of Marijuana Business Daily. Yes, there is such a thing. You get someone who's not as familiar with marijuana. Maybe they're a tourist, maybe they're a local, they haven't done it since college. And they go into a store and there are 50 jars with different strains and they're all named something different. He says celebrities such as Chong, Willie Nelson, Snoop Dogg, and even Whoopi Goldberg are helping marijuana go mainstream. So that's a great option for relaxing. Great. What we found is that the stores can basically charge an average of a 25% markup over the same type of product that doesn't have a celebrity name on it. So clearly, consumers are willing to pay more, and it's working. Grammy-winning artist Melissa Etheridge is getting in on the act from the ground up. This is, this is my dream. This is my uh, build it and they will come. She calls these 47 acres in California's Santa Cruz Mountains Etheridge Farms. It's one thing to, to use this. It's one thing to be an advocate for it. Why did you want to go into the business? I wanted to be in the front of this because I, I feel that there's not a representation for middle-aged women in the cannabis industry. This new business venture is personal. Etheridge says she discovered the healing power of marijuana during painful chemotherapy sessions after she was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2004. 
And so they gave me like super duper duper chemo, which was, it was really, really horrible, especially in your gastrointestinal system. So immediately, as soon as I took the first uh, chemo and you start feeling it by the end of the night, I, I smoked and you get instant relief from nausea and you have an appetite. For Etheridge, pot isn't just about getting high, it's about getting healthy. And she says the product grown here will have strict standards. You know it's been pesticide free, it's the quality and it's measured out, you're gonna be able to understand what the dosage is. And that's, that's the product I want to present. Edibles, my friends, don't There are even edible first. products like ginger snap weed cookies and other baked goods. If you have an edible and you're like, hmm, what do I do? Do I eat the whole thing? No is the answer. Do not <laughs> ever eat the whole thing of an edible, people. And then there's the cannabis-infused lavender cream. Arthritis sufferers swear by this. Women who haven't been able to knit for years have, have uh, put it on their hands. They cover it with gloves overnight, and they wake up and, and believe me, they, I, it's you know, that effective. I, it's so effective. It's 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 kind of sad that it's not out in the world. Etheridge Farms is not yet up and running. You get relationships with them. They're they're, they're beautiful. The plants. <laughs> but she hopes that putting the Etheridge name on her products will lead to more people experiencing a higher level of relaxation. Life is hard enough. Let's let's take it easy on ourselves. We don't have to go through life, you know, clutching the steering wheel. You know, we can we can relax a little bit.